vez o Instituto Farmum está aqui recebendo um grupo de estudantes de Iowa, junto com o seu reitor e um assistente. O Instituto Farmum, ele mostra o agro da melhor maneira possível aqui. O agro que todos gostariam de ver, o agro que todos precisam entender. Como é que ocorrem os processos, a forma como os processos acontecem nessa indústria de céu aberto. Então o Instituto Farmum, em parceria com a Agro Bravo, vai mostrar para todos esses estudantes né, uh, como esses processos ocorrem e tirar todas as dúvidas dele, porque é uma, é uma troca de experiência entre Estados Unidos e Brasil, entre Iowa e Mato Grosso. impressed coming down to Brazil. Um, growing up in the Midwest, we have a vast expanse and we're really utilizing a precision technology across all facets of our business, whether that be Internet of Things, uh, connectivity, we're gathering insights on our fields and I'm seeing the same things down here in South America and across the operations here in Brazil. They are modern, they are efficient and they are um, as evolving as ever and adapting to the new technology that comes out. One of the most impressive things has been the widespread um, through farming and agriculture to get connectivity to communities that not only support the farming operations in the fields across Brazil that are necessary for gathering insights to intelligence on the land, but also that those same cell towers uh, that are providing 3G and 4G uh, connectivity support the communities and allow uh, agriculture to really support communities and help them thrive as they expand, which uh, just has really been neat to see. So it's exciting about the technology down here. So we've had the pleasure to entertain Bonfaturo people in Iowa, so it's good to come to Brazil and to meet them. I think it's the story of agriculture and that we produce things and we try to add value. So we've had a chance to see uh, cropping operations, we've had a chance to see the logistics of how those crops get to their end use, we've had a chance to see how some of that crop is fed to livestock, we've had a chance to see how nutrients are recycled back into, and we've seen how Bonfaturo works in their community to make their part of the world a better place. Brazil has been a very beautiful country. Uh, it's, it's been a, a really big adjustment to see the two crops that you guys grow down here. Um, growing up on a corn and soybean farm, I'm used to having winter and, and being able to use that as a tool throughout uh, a part of the year. But coming down here, I'm seeing a lot more production agriculture on a, on a larger scale and kind of seeing a, a brand new form to grow the same crops. Bravo acredita que essa conexão global entre agricultores do mundo todo é muito importante e enriquecedora para mostrar é, esse lado do Brasil que acaba sendo pouco divulgado nas mídias. É, a gente acaba focando bastante em produzir, colher no dia a dia e acaba esquecendo de comunicar isso para o público lá fora. Então a gente poder trazer é, americanos, estrangeiros no geral, para conhecer a realidade do agro brasileiro é muito enriquecedor. A gente agradece muito o Instituto Farmum, essa parceria que a gente tem é, e troca de informação pelo, pela recepção que eles fazem com a gente durante esse, esse incrível Farm Day que eles propuseram para a gente. Por isso que a gente continua com essa parceria que já aconte, vem acontecendo há muitos anos e eu acredito que tem tudo para continuar acontecendo nos próximos anos. Música